Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, it's been a while, it's me, it's Andy, Corporate Commander TFW. I'm here to talk about Bloodborne, uh, a game that I've been wanting to play for a long time. I could load one of my other characters, you can see I've got two, I don't want her anymore. Baal is the guy I completed my last game with, but we're gonna start new, we're gonna start brand new, so uh, opening cutscene, here we go, rock and roll time. I'm sure everybody who's, uh, you know, is watching this has probably played it, uh, so I don't mind talking over the top of it, mainly because, I mean, the game's not super young either, if you want to watch these cutscenes, yeah, I guess you can do. Uh, but this man has a fantastic hat. Uh, I don't think we ever get it in the game. I can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> and he's, uh... Oh, he's got knee eyes! Or he's got, like, eyes that are messed up and wrecked. So, uh, yeah. Time to create a character. I suppose, because that's what we do. But don't worry, uh, I'm gonna make my person and we're gonna do a edit. So, don't worry about that. Boom! Woman is complete. She is called Carmella. We're going military veteran, uh, just so I have decent stats to start off with, but we're going to have a blood tinge build. I made Baal a uh, uh, arcane build, so he's all magic-y and tentacly. y uh, But this time I want to do a blood tinge build, because, you know, this is my second character, so I want to do something a bit different. Uh, I've got a bit more knowledge on the game, so hopefully I'll be able to... I don't want to say breeze through it, but I'll have a, an easier time. The the werewolves at the start will definitely not give me as much hassle. Uh, I I I hope. I mean, <laughs> that, that could easily change. Oh, you remember who you are? I do. I've made myself all pretty and whatnot. Uh, let's begin so transition. you're going to give me the juice, oh, and I'm going to get to sleep. Uh, Whatever happens, doesn't look like the, uh, the nicest place to have treatment, but you know. I guess you do what you have to do. I, I hmm. I like to believe that that might be Gaiman. It's not, but it'd be neat if that was like the real world representation of Gaiman. Who we'll see uh, later on, but we, you know, it's not the case. But I don't think we ever see or hear of this guy again. So it's interesting. Time for a spoopy dream. Oh no, I spilt jam on the floor, and it's a jam wolf! I hate jam wolves. As he bloops and scoops across the poops. Oddly enough, uh, some people see this as threatening, uh, but the way that, like, look at how he, like, raises his claw like that. It's not like in a downward swiping motion. It's uh, more like an offering, like a, you know, take my little paw. Um, so I... I I mean, I'm sure there's probably deep significance to it, but to me it looks almost welcoming. Less so than uh, than uh, threatening, because we'll see werewolves in the game, and you never see them stick out the little paw, as we have some little dudes touching me. One with a very um, interesting face there. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's so pretty. Oh, give us a kiss. Gotta sleep. Again. <sighs> You found um, so that was another dream, I, I guess a dream within a dream, and now we're in Yusefska's uh, clinic. Even though that's not how I'd spell Yusefska, but you know, never mind. That's us. Look at it. It's, uh, isn't it pretty? I mean, in a you know, you know, rundown kind of. Uh, whoa! What era? What era is this? I mean, it's gothic. That's for sure. We can't go that way. Uh, we'll be coming back to these doors later. We won't actually be able to come back into this room for a while. Not that there's anything in here, because once we open these lovely doors, nicely lit lanterns do, uh, they'll close when we come back and we won't be able to get through. Never mind. Uh, so, trundle down, having a look around. We've got our little tutorial descriptions with the little messengers. There's me swips with me hand. I can do <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh man, that's the Kirk smash from Star Trek. I might have to do that at some point. You know, the double axe handle of the Mr. Wolf, if you would as well. Actually, it's not the Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf does a, a thrust palm. There's a, a stinking dog. Can I beat him with my little jelly hands? I'm going to run past you because I don't want to fight you in this uh, tight, tight space. Uh, I'm invincible, wolf. You can't bite my bottom. Oh, God. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> you can now. Okay, let's lock on. Uh, it's at half health, so I've got a chance. Uh, can I beat it? Can I get a backstab? 
I find the because I've played this uh, a decent amount now, and I've played the Chalice Dungeons a fair bit. Ah, oh, balls. The wolves I don't find hard. Like when you when I first started playing the game, I was like these goddamn wolves. Uh, you'll notice I, uh, I hit like a wet noodle as well at the moment. Uh, how much do I do? Uh, two. Okay, let's let <laughs> get all up in his fluffy bum. Uh, now you might say, "Hey, Andy, why don't you just like die and get your weapon and move on?" It's because I don't want to. Because I want to be a big boy. I want to be a big boy and shove my fist right in this doggo's bum. You know, I'm gonna get you with my tiny damage. I would switch to the Kirk Smash. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Ooh, yeah. Nope. Missed. Poop. Now nah, we'll just go with the the light slaps. I feel conf. Ooh, I feel confident with the light slaps. Uh, <laughs> I'm. Je it's it's the the most violent petting of a dog you can have. I love you, dog slap. Ooh. Is it getting back to, uh, to the control use as well? Ow. Ah, but let's. Uh, 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 uh. There's my health back. No health loss. Ow! All right, let's do it again. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. I'm fine. No worries. Shall I use a healing item? I've got some. Oh no, do I? No, I don't. I don't have nothing. I've got. <laughs> I've just got my my little meaty slaps. Ooh. I'm gonna beat this dog. I'm not gonna lose now. There's no way. This dog ain't got shit on on me. I was gonna say Bobby B. I'm not Uncle Bobby B this time. Whoa, damn, I thought I had it that time. That's I'm really slow with the R2s. I've seen people play online and they get off R2s ridiculously quick, and that leads to the the visceral attack, which I'm, I'm I'll definitely be able to do one later on when I have a weapon uh, and fighting less bouncy enemies. Oh, it's nearly gone. Nearly. Oh. I thought I would have had it. All right. Well, I'm, this combo. Oos, 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 oos. There we go. Woo! Come on. Yo, yo, bastard! Give me that. Hey, healy items. All right. Now to pick up some stuff from the, the graves. Uh, never, in my eyes, never a positive thing when a clinic has gravestones around it. You know, doesn't doesn't say much for a survival rating, at least in my eyes. But you know, I'm not here to judge the. Medical treatment of Yusefska. He's uh, he's he's gonna be okay. I'm sure. Boom. Okay, I expected the table to go there, but it's just the the little bottles on top. Never mind. That's fine. That's dandy. Uh, now to open the gates, and uh, in we go to as a as I do. <laughs> Look at this fancy camera swing I do, like a real game pro. Uh, as we enter Old Yarn. Oh, sorry, Central Yarnum. Don't even know where I am. We'll go to Old Yarnum later. More health. It's uh, it's nice. It's nice. I mean, it's 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 a it's a city I would walk around as long as I knew no one else was there. Uh, because I mean, we've got a, a jolly chap here with this little torch. Can I put my my finger in his ass? I wonder. I wonder. Come here. Oh, no, you don't. Eh, nope, no, nope, no finger in his, his bottom today. He's got an axe. He's got a torch. Woo! <laughs> oh, this time, poop, poop. I tell you. Again, you don't need to fight. Oh, come on! No, no! Oh, I had it. I was gonna, I was gonna tickle his prostate right there, but it just, it didn't want me to. Damn it. Okay. Again. Nope. Ow, 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 fire indeed hot, fire indeed hot, pro tip, pro tip, fire is not for uh, human flesh. That's what Prometheus should have told us, he should have said, look here, don't use fire on your skin, it's not good. As he had his uh, livery, no, boosh, slap that. Away, away, <laughs> I love the little words that they keep sprouting, uh, they've got some really good bits of dialogue. Oof. Oh, oh dear. Okay, that was close. I can't. Oh no. Oh, I could heal. I'm not gonna waste it just because I'm so early on and I'm doing so little damage. I, I don't really care if I die here. I just wanna. I wanna really challenge myself. See how far I can get. This is where episode 50 gets up to, and I'm like, I still haven't died. I'm still slapping like a wet noodle, but I'm still alive. <laughs> I doubt that'll happen. I'll die at some point. I'm sure. I wanna see if I. Can. I beat a wolf. I can beat a man. 
Man is lesser than wolf. Oh no! Oh, that hitbox got me. Nods. Yeah, I like these. I like the the Yarnamites. The Yarnamites. I like the Yarnamites a lot more than the basic enemies in Dark Souls because they will just sprout off stuff. Some human words. It's nice to to hear that little bit of humanity, even if it is um, mildly insane. Never mind. We're off to the Hunter's Dream, our hub world um, for for the game. So. I don't know why I wake up face down on the ground, but in the mud of a dream. But I do. I wonder what it smells like. It, because of all the mist, I bet it uh, has that, that smell of like early morning in summer after a light rainfall. You know, that kind of smell. There's a waffly bit of nonsense for you to munch on, isn't it? Lovely moon. Love it. Love the moon. So I'll just take you around the hunter's dream here, just a brief bit. I do think these are interesting. I'm sure people have probably said it before, and I'm probably spouting off stuff. But these remind me of the, well, the 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 old trees in Dark Souls One, where the the dragons were. Um, you know, it reminds me of that. I, whether it is or not, we'll be going here for the last boss fight, which is why it's closed for now. And we've got a lot of little messengers around to say, "Here's how you do this and this." Uh, is there actually anything around here to pick up instead of just view? Don't think so. Apart from the weapons. These are our teleporters to different areas of the game when we discover the lanterns. We've got a doll. Just a doll. Don't worry about it. Uh, we have Chalice Dungeon Tombs here, which I'll be doing on my own. We've got a shop. What do you got? You got anything for me? Uh, yeah, it does, actually. I'm surprised. We've got some other bits as well. Can't buy anything because I've got knee souls. Oh, sorry, blood echoes. I'll be calling them souls. Now, which weapon do I want to go for? I played with the Hunter's Axe in my last game and loved it. Uh, not a fan of the Threaded Cane, desperately, but I think I'll go with the, the Saw uh, for this playthrough. Uh, I won't be keeping it, it'll just be a basic item. Uh, do I want the Thunderbus? No, I, um, I, no, no, I think I'll stick with the pistol. I feel... I, I don't know. Uh, no, I'll go with the pistol. I know how to use it. I feel safe and secure with it. Hey, and a notebook. I can I can write all my dreams. It can be my dream journal. Uh, so let's slap on some weapons. Give you a quick... I won't waste any bullets. I don't have any, but swish. So it's, it's fast. Short range, but fast. Um, and there's a transform attack. The transform attack's like really good on it. I don't actually like this mode too much got too big of a swing but you know switching it from this mode to the heavy mode we'll, we'll call it is a, is a really heavy damage attack it's a super useful and it's fast so bonus damage never a bad thing uh, if you ask me so now I've got my saw uh, ties, uh, time <laughs> time for some rewengi rewengi against uh, that man with his lovely torch that's what I say anyway so Back to Yusefka's clinic. Now in here, is the wolf back? No, because uh, usually the idea would be you die here, you come back, and then you fight the wolf again. Uh, the wolf's dead, gone forever. Uh, one of the few basic enemies that do that, but okay. Uh, and now, <laughs> now the fight is much more even. Let's see how many takes this take, uh, slaps this take. One, two, and a transform attack, three. And gone. There we go. Easy peasy. Instead of all the, the little hand slaps. This is the way I was meant to go. Get this ladder getting done. And we'll have some more blood wheelies. And sleeping men. You know, goddamn drunks. Whoops. That was too many transform attacks. I kind of wish you could get his little sickle. I don't know. I like sickles. The, the, again, I think it's my edgy boyness. I love me a, an edgy boy grim reaper. And, and scythes and sickles just have that cool factor. I, isn't it pretty? It, I, I bet this is a fucking awful place to live, even when there's not a hunt going on, but... Ah, it's pretty. You can't deny that. There, the, the, there's a disturbing amount of coffins about as well. This is a lantern. This is our transport thing. Like a bonfire, if you didn't know. And we got a person. Ooh, what up? A... You must be a hunter. And not one from around here, either. I'm giving oh, yeah. Uh, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. 
Yarnum has a special way of Can I show my face if I can? Oh, well, that's I nice. Think I could stand if I'm, I I'm listening, to. don't worry. I'm, I'm listening. But I'm willing to help if there's oh, yeah. anything that can be done. Ah, no. <laughs> so good. <laughs> this time, whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. All right. Okay. Well, we'll talk again. Pale blood, you say. Hmm. Let's see what else you got for us. Never heard of it, but if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing charge. The charge. Quick thing: that little lantern on the side meditation. of the house uh, is an incense to keep away the beasts, the uh, for the most part. The valley to the east That's why he's the okay. The healing charge, known as the Cathedral Ward, and deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. The birthplace of the healing church's special blood. Or so Ooh, he doesn't have to talk, does he? Yarnamites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. <laughs> Alright, uh, you got anything else? No, no, no. Okay, that's it. So he's given us a... Uh, we'll do it again. Uh, we've got a mission. We need to go to the, the Holy Healing Church and do all our bobbins. Uh, we'll have some pebbles. I love me a pebble. A pebble's super useful. Especially early game. Pebbles are great for drawing aggro. Oh, whoa, 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 mate. You might hit a box, but you need to calm yourself down. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'll take off my hood. Yeah. I mean, the armor doesn't do massive amounts, and the hood looks terrible, at least in my eyes. Slap. Transform, gone. That's good. Two attacks, and he's gone. The good thing about the transform attack as well, if you, if you notice a good big horizontal sweep. Oh, there's a, a few lads down here. Uh, so, yeah, that horizontal attack is, is pretty good for taking out uh, multiple enemies as well. The hunter's axe is ridiculously good. If you have it transformed and do its R2, it, it uh, not only swings horizontally. Let's, let's. Oof. Oh, oh tickle that prostate. Oh, I love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't hit me with your shield. Calm down. See, that that's that's great. Oh, mate, overextended. Good try, though. Whoa, you torch. Oosh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry, the, the hunter's axe. Transformed mode, uh, you hold the R2 button and do a massive swing. It also knocks enemies down. Here's the gate from earlier. Uh, it's really good. Um, let's open this gate. Bit of a shortcut, just in case things go awry, because I have a, a big boy to fight. Look at that big boy. He's uh, he's not a, a usual dude. Let's uh, give him a tussle. See if I can beat him. This is going to be good in skills and... Ow. Oh, get in. Go on. Oh, so good. Oh, it tastes like mutton. Whoops. Oh, we we'll go back. We we'll go back. Okay, can I get another one? No, well, I don't want to hug. Whoa, 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 whoa! Big swing, big swing. Whoa! Calm down. Calm down. Laugh. Yo, go on. Ooh, yeah. Give me that jam. Yo, bastard! What's he got for me? Oh, only healing. That's a shame. I was hoping he'd drop something a bit more uh, interesting. So this is a place that used to be really interesting, because what you used to do, or people used to do, is they used to do a run and jump right off the corner on there onto this wall, which was pretty hard to do, but it was possible in Tilapacha here. Then they'd walk along here, uh, climb up here and do like two R2 attacks, get behind that wall. Uh, and they could skip a massive portion of the game and get into the Yusefska's clinic again, uh, which you shouldn't be able to do for a long time. It was, it was a great, great strat for like speedruns and stuff, but uh, I guess they patched it out, which is a bummer. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Molotovs. Got lantern. Means there's a person. What up, son? Are you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, mucky on that. Not along, will ya? All right. Well, anything else? All right. Nothing. Yeah. So there's not a lot of people around here. I won't be. I don't think I'll knock on every door because there's not a huge amount of people. Ooh, ooh, that's a lad. There's not a huge amount of people who are willing to have a, a, a real door. So there's one. Come on. There's a guy right right in the corner of that co uh, that couch. Coach. Coach. Not a couch. Jesus. Uh, woo. Uh, so I'm gonna. 
kill this guy. Oh, oh all right, all right. Slap, slap. Oh, another one with pitchfork. Woo! Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Stop it. More Molotovs. Uh, and he's a gunner, gunner man. Give me them bullets. Lovely hat again, sir. Love it. Thank you. We'll just do this quick door just to see what it's what they've got to say. All right. Well, fair now. enough. Thank you for that. Now, uh, there's a there's a bit of a gathering of the town. We're gonna kill them all, because that's my motto: kill them all. Uh, more coffins. <laughs> it's pretty bleak, isn't it? Uh, lad round here, easy to kill. A bit of a trap, early game trap. And uh, nothing else. But it's for a blood shard. That's for leveling up your weapon to level three. So it's your uh, in Dark Souls, your equivalent would be Titanite. That's one. Whoa! That's one thing I always got uh, annoyed with when I watched playthroughs. I was like, "What the hell's a blood shard?" Because uh, no one ever really talked about it. But the, yeah, if you play Dark Souls, the equivalent is Titanite. That's uh, the idea. Uh, ooh. Some lads are aggroed. Come on, lads! Whoosh, whoosh. Okay, okay. Give him a slap. Yeah, yeah. You can. <laughs> you see how slow that was in comparison. That's why I don't like it. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Sun, calm down. Eh. There we go. Okay. Good thing about this area, uh, you will get blood vials, and you'll need blood vials, and you need silver bullets throughout the gameplay. So, usually, a little bit further on, Yarnum is the place to come for farming, just because it's easy and quick. Well, yeah. Take a lot of prostate. Oh, you love it, don't you? Full of jam. This is why everyone's gone crazy. Jam crazy. Uh, we'll have a look at that big fiery thing in a bit, because it, it's, it's it's a real cool bit of uh, level design. Uh, but we've got so Do we have some lads down here? I think we have some escapees, and you know what I say. Kill them all. you got to kill them all at least once. Yeah, we do. We have some escapees. None can survive. Pebble. Boosh. I'll take one at a time. Whoop. Slap. Slap. Seriously, I love the pebble. The pebble is super useful. <laughs> oos, oos, oos. There we go. Yeah, uh, fighting one enemy is a lot better than fighting more than that, obviously. Uh, so if you just, you know, tickle them, tickle them towards you with a, a little, a little popple, one little, one little supple popple. Uh, I always find that a much easier process to deal with. And now we've got to do a bit of a dance. So how do we do this? We go through a, a little gap here, and there's a gunner there. Uh, go by that big, big door, no problem. A doggo. Doggos in every game suck. Ugh. But I've gotten better at dealing with them, for the, for the most part. Calm down, dog. Ooh. Calm down. Oh, they're gonna see me. That's not good. Ooh. Calm down. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, right. Guy with a pitchfork. That's fine. I don't mind aggroing one... Oh, two dudes. That's fine. We'll get there. Oof, oof, oof. Down you go. It's it's a it's a process of just working through them uh, as, as slowly... Well, not slowly, but as methodically as you can. Because you don't... At this stage, you don't... <laughs> you don't want to tussle with them all and get into stun lock. Okay, another two. Alright, okay. Okay. Woo. Oos, oos, oos. Yeah, I definitely prefer the closed mode, uh, but the tran like I say, transform the text great. You actually see like what's on the other side of that door, and you you notice like there was a really small bit of metal holding it together. Uh, um, I don't think that that door should really hold myself. Never mind. Uh, guy with the gun, you got to take him out, otherwise he'll be blapping you. It's the only way to get him, unless you have range stuff. So. And oh, it's so good! <laughs> Though it is getting me filthy, to be fair. The guys with the shield are like the easiest enemies in the game, I would say. Like the, these guys are all pretty easy, but the guys with the shields kind of just hide behind them. Uh, the 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 motto, I suppose, of this game is you can't be a turtle, uh, which you you could be in Dark Souls, uh, in all the Dark Souls games, but. 
Yeah, have a look at this. Ah, uh, there's a poor doggo burning. Oh, on a crucifix. That's uh, that's probably fine. Ooh, okay. Uh, cold blood dew is uh, your lost souls. So you crush one of them, and you get a load of in this game blood echoes. It's just a a way to hold an item that has currency. And that's another equipment thing for for leveling up. Molotovs. I, I mean, you know what Molotov is. I imagine. Not for drinking. We've got passage down here. We'll be taken in a moment. We've got some rowdy people to listen to. I don't reckon you're from round here. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. How you poor? Ah oh, well. Thank you. Doesn't doesn't make me um, very sympathetic to the the plight of the town when everybody in it is pretty much an asshole. Makes me go. Ah, I don't know. Got some broken winged crows. Uh, he was surprisingly deadly. Ooh, they're just giving the pecks at the moment. That's fine. Hey, there he goes. There he goes. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, they don't actually drop a huge amount, but they do drop bubbles. Uh, do like me a bubble. Uh, oil. Uh, oil urns aren't too bad. They effectively increase the damage a Molotov does. That's uh, the guy who was uh, slamming the door. We'll we'll take him down. I'd run and hit him. Ugh. Okay, no backstab, but that's fine. Now we just gotta shoot him. No, oh, ow, owie, owie, hit me with a brick. Let's get some health back. Ooh, calm down. Now. There we go, that's what I wanted. Oof! Oh, give me your, your, your intestines, mate. Uh, nice, thank you. Uh, yeah, the oil urns. Hang on. Molotov and a torch. I like the torch. The torch definitely helps with my eyesight. Because I find some areas too dark. And this out, I, I think, definitely helps. Anyway, oil urns. Uh, you'll throw it to cover your dude, uh, a dude in oil, and then fire based things will do more damage. Uh, so they are useful. Um, I don't use them too often because it's an extra thing you have to hit them with. Uh, so I usually just throw the, the Molotov. And, yeah, yeah, they, they are useful. They are handy. Uh, we don't want to go up that way just yet. There's a little girl to talk through there. Uh, we can't get there yet. So our option is basically... I mean, we could go up the stairs, but it's better to go this way first. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, dear. We got some angry doggos in cages, so we'll kill them because, well, we, we've established that the dog is not the man's best friend in this world, uh, and and to be fair, it's oh, now something died. Uh, it's free souls. Uh, which way do I want to go? Uh, we'll go this way. The, yeah, yeah. If we go this way, we'll be able to unlock some some um, shortcuts. That'll be wise. Uh, yeah, the big guy down there. We don't want to go down there. That's right. That's right. Yeah, one item up here. <laughs> Big hole in the ground, for some reason. More store, uh, stored blood echoes. So that's A-OK. -okay. Look at those lanterns. Isn't that a lamppost? Isn't that nice? Uh, we don't want to go down there. We want to go straight across here. Uh, into this lovely dark building. Straight through. Ignore the, the guy to the left there. I did see him. Don't worry. Straight through. Kill this lad with a... Oh, dear. Okay, we're fine. Oh, he came! Ow! Owie! Wowie! Okay, let's see. <laughs> I don't want to die here. Ugh, ow! He poked me! Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God. Yeah, we don't want to die here right next to a shortcut. There we go. Slap these boys down. Heal again, because why not? Oh, thank you. And thank you again. I lost no health. More blood shards. Good. Uh, and here we are. Back at the start, where our little lantern is, and our lad who was uh, telling us things. There he is. So, th yeah, there we go. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. And now, we could go down here, but there's no point. There's only two of those big lads at the moment. So, it's time to light up the lights uh, and put on the Muppet Show tonight. Old man in the chair. No mercy! Because look, he's got a gun. <laughs> Sneaky man. Punching blood cocktail or whatever that was. That's for distracting beasts. Little, uh, little thing we do there to look at. Yeah, the, the cocktails are good for like werewolves and other specific beastie beasts. 
Uh, if, if you throw it down, they'll start going after that instead of you. It can be useful. It will be useful. We'll be using that uh, in the not too distant future. Whoa! Barrel rider. A barrel breaker. Close that up. Ooh. Yep. I'll definitely take all of these things. And dude at the top of the stairs. Slap, 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 dead. We can get his outfit at some point. That is down to the cler Cleric Beast, I think. One of the first bosses in the game. Optional. Uh, you don't have to fight him. And then we've got Double Wolves. So we're going to ignore this for the moment, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, because there's another area to explore. Now, I found this game quite difficult to navigate when I was watching people play it. But having played it, I, I'm, I, I'm not terrible with directions, so playing it... Uh, playing it, I found it really intuitive to walk around uh, eventually. It took me about two or three just like running around to get it. But after that, man, this is a, a really well designed city. Eh, stupid job. I love the fact as well, if we just. Uh, hang on, where is it? If we just come down here, there's the cage that's open that had the dog in. Isn't that nice? Nice little bit of environmental stuff. But yeah, this is a super well-designed city. This game is as well-designed as Dark Souls 1 in terms of its levels. Oh, we got a dog barking at the door. Kill that dog. Uh, so, it, I, I, yeah, I, I really like this game. It's super good. I can see why everybody likes it so much. Yo! Oh, there's an old woman. Well, you know, if any safe place to hide. Okay. Knock, knock. I'll burn down. Oh, I'm so dirty. Jesus. Uh, well, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing, John Snow. Admit it. Stupid little man, don't you? Ugh. Go and stop it. You're not really endearing me to you, I'll be honest. Right, well, we'll help that old nasty lady later. Uh, we've got Eileen to find now. Uh, round all the barrels. Uh, we'll smash these because it's always good to go through all these things. Okay, it's a Dark Souls game, or Souls game. Uh, I want to take on Mr. Mustache Comb. There he is, with his lovely mustache comb. He's more beast than man. Uh, you know, given by his hump, his wonky legs, and his fluffy face. No. Oh, nuts. I didn't want that. I wanted to go straight forward. Never mind. He's dead anyway. What's he got? Okay, just just blood piles. That's fine. So, a little drop out. Nyah. And we'll turn on the torch. Do, 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 just to make it easy to see. Okay. I'm concerned. Oh no, we should be okay. Okay, this bit's annoying. Oh, it's not annoying. Ugh. Just gotta line this up right. Nope. And yeah, there it goes. Okay. Knock these things down and we'll pick them up later. Do, 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 That guy downstairs needs to, to calm down. He can't shoot me through the floor, thankfully. There's the other one right there. I was just checking around because I couldn't remember if there was anything else. There's that. Uh, but we'll go and slap this. There it goes. Okay, we'll get those in a bit. And we'll go talk to young Eileen. Or old Eileen, I suppose her name is. Uh, I could kill her now, if I wanted, and get uh, the weapons that she has and the outfit she has, but, uh, you know, I want to try and complete the game as much as I can, so let's have a chat. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider? What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight, of all nights, here, to welcome the new hunter. Okay, thank you. Those are useful. Yourself. For the worst, there are no humans left. They're all 
flesh hungry beasts now. Anything else? Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll have that. Anything what else? <laughs> still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. Right, right. Fair enough. Thank you, Eileen. Uh, so those things that she gave us, basically, uh, again, if you don't know, they are the game's equivalent of, of the Homeward Bone. So it takes you past to the last lantern you were rested at. Very useful. But we're going to... We don't. We kind of would usually use one here, but I want to drop down and get the stuff here. So, uh, ow. That's not bad. That's not a huge amount of damage. Uh, I want to heal up just in case, because we do have a... Uh, that's not a moustache man, by the way. That's a nail man. Not a male man. A nail man. Because he has a big old nail. But, slap and prostate exam. Oos! Oh, sorry, sir. I'm not that sorry. And... Okay, more blood vials. Okay. Not exciting stuff, but useful. It's all, like, you can have a max storage uh, of... Okay, cold blood. Of 600, I think. Uh, but only carry 20 at a time. And you will go through those 20 very quickly in some places. There's our gunner. Uh, eh, eh. Oh, I, I expected more slaps. But I'll take your bullets. Bullets are super important as well. Oof. Oh. Well, he didn't see me. Oh. Sneaky. Stealth mode, guys. Stealth mode. Mr. Mustache Comb. No, just wait. Just you wait. Eh. I'm gonna get with you with a backstab. Oh no, it's too far. Poop. <laughs> Whatever, I'll wail on you. Shall I shoot you or shall I just wail? Come here. Ah, oh, poop. Oh jeez. Okay, we'll just wail on you. No need to be fancy. I'll have those though, thank you. Uh, is there anything else? Here? I don't think so. So we can drop down onto those specific little areas and pick up the, the items that I dropped. Um, there are rats. Uh, rats are plenty down there because, again, it's a Souls game and Souls love them, them some rats. Let's try and reduce the damage. There's a rat. Hello. Oh boy. Slap. Slap. Dead rat. <laughs> More rats. I'm going in. I'm going in. Uh, I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm going out. Oh, God. <laughs> eh. Oh. Oh. Eh. Yeah. Calm down, rat. Oh, he's going mad. He's going nuts. I love that. Ooh, the sword blade spear. Uh, I'm actually going to equip that because I... I like that a little bit more. Not massively. Uh, it's not hugely different. Uh, still does the same moveset for the most part. In this mode, it's got a uh, a little bit of a different moveset, but again, not drastically. I just prefer it uh, generally. I think it looks a little cooler, not massively. So how about this? We'll drop in the boat. We'll throw a Molotov at it. Yep, we'll do this, because it does splash damage. So here we go. Oh, poop, that's a pebble. Oh, God. Eh. Oh, I got the other one now. That's fine. <laughs> and the boat protected me. Thank you, boat. Ooh, madman's knowledge. Good. Because uh, I have, like, you'll see in the top right, uh, you see the top one, which is my, my blood echoes. Underneath that is my insight. Madman's knowledge increases insight. And that's another form of currency. Uh, makes things harder in the game. Uh, and allows you to buy specific items with insight. I'm saying this for... Oh, God. I'm saying this for everybody that doesn't know who hasn't... Jesus, you need to calm down, guys. Uh, for anyone who hasn't played the game, who might be watching. I just wondered. Right, so there's two lads. I shouldn't be shot. Ow! Oh, God, I was shot. <laughs> Point blank. This time, I won't be shot. Ah, oh, God, why? Stop it, stop it, stop it. There we go, get us some health back. Goodness. Oh, it's Mr. It's the nail man. None of that now, nail man. Go deliver your nails somewhere else. You're not dead. Fair enough. Now you are. And 
done that. Okay. It's de it's definitely giving me the the option to upgrade my weapon soon, so I probably will. Uh, just because that'll give me some more damage, and that's never bad. Never, never bad. Especially early game, and especially since what well, I will be pumping my levels into won't be increasing my damage to my main weapon. Uh, but we'll I'll show you why as we go. So let's uh, get item number two. Eh? Nothing in there. Okay. What about number two? Oh, one rit. Eh, eh. There we go, easy. Rats rats at this stage are nice and easy. In the chalice dungeons when there there's eight, uh, that makes them a bit harder. There's one rat. Ooh. Slap, slap. Again, I'll show you the chalice dungeons, but we're not gonna I'm not gonna do a whole thing on them, because quite frankly the chalice dungeons are boring. They are the second worst aspect about Bloodborne. Uh, the first worst aspect about Bloodborne, I'll tell you now, is the fact that, and this is actually something that makes Dark Souls 2, uh, that ha Dark Souls 2 has over Bloodborne, and it's the fact you can respec your character. Uh, in this, the only way you can do a new uh, build is by start a new game. At least in Dark Souls 2, you had the, what was it, Soul Vessel, I think it was called? Oh, I'm so dirty. Uh, soul vessel, so you could redistribute all your points and try different things. And if something was, if you if you realize, oh no, I've I've done a boo boo with this build, you could change it. Here you can't. Um, so you know, people always said that Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne were kind of developed at the same time. Uh, one was by not Miyamoto. Is it Miyamoto? Whoever it is. Oh god, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, and I think this shows just because that is one of the good elements from Dark Souls 2. Because um, it wasn't in Dark Souls. So, yeah. Th that's the that's one of the, the worst aspects. The Charles, it's... You can't respec... We'll be going up there. You can't respec your character. And you can't... Uh, oh, God. What was the other thing? Oh, that's right. Uh, and you, uh, you, the Charles functions are just good. Pebble, pebbles. And the little oil urn, okay. Uh, is there anything else back here? No, just more coffins and barrels. Oh, there's that thing there. Yeah, that's, we'll go for that now. Ooh, ow, my knees. And this is uh, more, more level stuff. Good, 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 good. I think that is it. Is there something down here? I can't remember. No, no, okay. But good. Hey, okay. Uh, so now, drop down here or go up the big ladder. We'll go up the big ladder. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. This. Uh, yeah. This will be a good place. We'll go up the ladder. Uh, we'll open the gate because uh, if you remember earlier on, I said there was a little girl, but there was she was behind the gate. We'll go to that gate, open it up, and yeah, th yeah. Actually, we'll end it around. Um, just before talking to the little girl, I think. That'll be a good place, because we haven't died once. So we've died once, and that was it. Woo! Calm down, bro. Calm down. Ow! There we go. Easy as. And what were you guarding? Madman knowledge. Good. I need that. And over the bridge and far away. da 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 Ooh, a big lad. And you'll notice if you look in between his legs, uh, he's got big statues. So he is a variation. But it doesn't matter, because with one of these... Boom. Uh, uh. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. And he's presenting now, which I appreciate. Uh, so let's climb the ladder. There's quite a lot of ladder climbing in this game. Or there can be. But yes, here is the gate I mentioned earlier. We'll open this up. That's uh, the little girl. We'll talk to her next time as this gate slowly opens. Painfully open. There we go. Uh, you'll recognize where we are. Uh, up here was a place we'll be going later. Uh, down here is the, the little central area. And if you look at that bridge, we were up there. That's where the two werewolves were. And down that way is where the cleric beast is. So again, very well interlinked. Anyway, guys, that's episode one. This is the first run on the Blood Tinge build, so thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.